What you looking for? Oh. Right. Yeah. What exactly is BioBlitz? BioBlitz is a rapid inventory of all biological species. We take 24 hours to try to count as many t different types of organisms as possible. So we count birds, plants, fungi, little bitty organisms that swim in the water, um, everything we can possibly count. See the brown? Hey guys, when you come by here on the rock, there's a nice example of a frond, pinna, and then the brown spots. What are those called? Sorai. Sorai. You have to lift up the leaves and you'll see the brown sorai. S O R I. Let's get some babies. Yeah. 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 Um, by the Smithsonian, and they did a park in the Washington, D.C. area. And we have the person who attended that first BioBlitz here today. Um, he's an entomologist, and he travels around and tries to see uh, lots of different BioBlitzes around the nation just to kind of experience what they do. And so he's here, and he apparently was up till 2 o'clock last night peeing out bugs and, and sorting them out. Cool. How many people you're trying to feed today? Um, this morning, I'm not sure how many people will come, but last night I think we fed about 300. Wow, is that good? Yes. Is that more than last year? Oh yes, last year because we had the flooding, it was a lot, uh, it wasn't well yeah. attended. But Where does everyone come from? Um, they come from schools all over Oklahoma, so we have OU, OSU, um, Swasu, uh, people from Tahlequah, but then we also have high school students, she's a high school student from Norman, and she uh, came, and we have high school students from Ada, McLeod, um, the Tulsa area, all over the state. We have um, our... I'm guessing you like snakes? Yeah. When I grow up, I'm going to go to college. What type of snake is that one? It's a... a um, it is a gold cricket. Or below the water. So this one's a beaver. And have you ever seen beaver teeth? Oh yeah, I I teach science. I have a school just like this. Okay. Holy crud! I never knew their teeth were that long. Okay. Yeah. And we do owl pellets, and we have little bowls. Yeah. And their teeth pull out of there yeah. too. You yeah. know, because oh my okay. teeth. And then if you look at this one. <laughs> Holy crud. Bottom teeth are the ones that are really impressive, and because they're rodents, they have to gnaw all the time, or their teeth grow into their brains, and and so you know that whole jaw basically is, is two, and that's what's really that's what I love about we had to keep breaking. Uh, the first one in Oklahoma was done in 2001, and it was at an urban park in Norman. And um, since then, we've traveled around the state, mostly doing state parks and national wildlife refuges and state wildlife management areas. Bioblitz. So we keep track of all the different numbers. So, like, I know how many birds were found at each different bioblitz. I know how many species of fungi were found at each of the bioblitzes. And I think Brendan, the fungi guy, will have a record number for bioblitz this year because it's just it's been so wet. And so incredible. 
Um, yeah, I think I. Well, how many brought in any of them? Before I them all out here. So, how many different varieties do you have here today? Twenty about so far. Is is that good? Yeah, that's, that's our our BioBlitz record, and of course we're still getting more. Yep. I'm gonna have a hard time. Writing down names or even descriptions. <laughs> um, last year when we were at the uh, Great Salt Plains, we had the most birds we've ever found um, because it's well known for uh, migratory waterfowl. We're at Robbers Cave State Park. It's in eastern Oklahoma, um, kind of in the southeastern quarter. It's near Wilburton, about five minutes away from Wilburton. It's um, one of my favorite state parks in Oklahoma, I think probably because it reminds me of where I grew up. But um, the cave is not a true cave. It's kind of a jumble of rocks that has a crevice, and supposedly, I'm not sure how factual it is, their outlaws lived in there to hide out from, from the police. But um, it's got nice lakes and eastern deciduous forests and lots of, since it's been so rainy this year, um, September it's usually kind of crunchy in Oklahoma this time of year. I'm going to go get your coffee now. We're going to be ready to go uh, sanding over there and everyone should try to get wet at some point. Should try to get wet? Yeah. Okay. I'll try it really hard. Be prepared. Yeah. So be prepared to get in. All right. To actually get a little dirty, we're gonna bring these uh, nets through the water column, and we're gonna through the vegetation, and you'll have dip nets as well, and you'll be. Oh, sweet. Yeah. I was trying to give them to the guy with the basket. Oh, she got. So they could take them back. <laughs> Come on, camera. He won't stay still. Sorry. Good. Oh, beautiful! Oh, that's what I saw. Oh, that. walking the ship. Thing you like about Bobbits? What do I like about Bobbits? Yeah. I like um, exposing all sorts of people to things that they never thought were cool. The Girl Scouts. There were Girl Scouts sitting here at 10:30 at night, drawing mushrooms and talking to the guy and asking all sorts of cool questions. And they were really enthusiastic. And I bet if you asked them two days ago if they thought a mushroom was interesting, they would have, oh, whatever. And the giant group of people who just went out saning for herbs. You know, again, three days ago, if you asked one of those Girl Scouts if they wanted to go like splash around in a pond. Uh, I would suspect most of them would say, no thanks. But uh, people are getting enthusiastic about what we're talking about and what we're doing, and I, that's, that's my favorite part. And, and getting together with people who are interested and who are experts. It's fun to talk with some of the, the older biologists who've been around and know everything about, er, about their organism and just learn from them over supper. Yeah. This year we're going to be at Call Lake, and we're going to t be staying at Camp McFadden, which is a nonprofit private campground that has uh, dining hall facilities, cabins, and it, the facility is going to be fantastic. Logistically, as the director, coordinator of the event, it's going to be really, really nice. Um, what it's not like a really pristine area. It's a reservoir that has a wildlife management area surrounding it. Um, but this will be a good opportunity to show how much diversity you can find in just kind of relatively normal area. Um, Robbers Cave and the Great Salt Plains Wildlife Refuge and the Wichita Mountains, those are really special places that um, have a great diversity. And now we're kind of moving back towards what BioBlitz is all about, showing people how you can find diversity anywhere you look. Um, we're hoping a lot of the Girl Scout groups and a lot of the student groups will go back and do a mini BioBlitz where they live their schoolyard or just a, a, a 15 by 15 square foot of land and just count how many different species they can find in that small area and most people are surprised once they finally actually count how diverse just a small area is and how diverse Oklahoma is. A lot of people think Oklahoma is kind of a boring state but we have fantastic diversity of plants. We have over 2,500 species of plants in Oklahoma from southeastern to the, to the west.